It is essential to be up to date on happenings around you and to make that easy for you. Ladies and gentlemen, we present Fresh Light, where we bring fresh newspaper headlines to limelight. Mondays to Saturdays, 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. on Alia Moye TV and Radio. Watch, like, subscribe, and make sure your notification is activated on our YouTube channel. You can also like and comment on our pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Aliamoye TV and Radio. morning to you the 24th day in the month of may 2023 welcome to fresh light on aliamoye tv and radio the midweek edition of fresh light on aliamoye tv and radio and of course we we'll always appreciate you for your doggedness always um, gracing us and always um, making us enjoy giving us that pleasure that you are watching liking and commenting on our social media platforms at Aliamoye TV and Radio. This morning, we are set again to keep you abreast of what is happening, to definitely keep you updated on happenings and different headlines and th stories we have in our newspapers this morning. So welcome to a fresh episode of Fresh Light. My name is Modukbe Akinyosui. And this morning, I have got a couple of newspapers. I have with me the Punch newspaper, I have the Vanguard, I have the Daily Trust, I have the Nigerian Tribune, and I have uh, the Nation newspaper this morning. And uh, definitely will take you through uh, the stories we have in the dailies this morning. I will pick up the Nation newspaper. We'll see the stories and headlines that we can see in the front page of the Nation newspaper. And from the nation, you see, we borrowed for a project to create wealth, says Bukhari. Um, the story also you see in the, the belly of the nation is paper. Away from that, from the front page of the nation, Biden's team for Tinubu's inauguration. You also get the details of that on the first page in the nation is paper. Also, foreign students barred from bringing family members to the United Kingdom. Page 4 captures that very story in the nation is paper stop arousing kogi officials uh, supreme court tells anti-graft agencies you also get the details of that very story on uh, page two in the nation is paper uh Bile belema oil president jack reach celebrates wife elizabeth at 30 uh, page seven graces that very story and uh, also away from that you see tribuna orders consolidation of pdp labor party AB, apm petitions you also get that uh, with several writers in the nation newspaper uh, also from the nation we have certified osho pupils faint after inhaling tear gas um, the rather sad one you also get the details in the nation newspaper more redeployment in aviation page five captures that very story and uh giving you a couple of the body of the headlines in the nation newspaper uh we borrowed for project you see that headline to create wealth says bukhari president mohammed bukhari yesterday gave a robust defense of his administration's 77 trillion naira debt According to him, the loans were largely used to fund capital projects for the people's benefit. He explained that his focus on infrastructure was a deliberate action to create wealth and stem poverty. President Buhari also justified the closure of Nigeria's borders with neighboring countries and the appointment of uh, Colonel Ahmed Ali retired as Controller General of the Nigeria Customs Service, NCS. And the president spoke during the inauguration of some landmark project of his outgoing government, including the second Niger Bridge, which was named after him by Southeast governors. From the nation newspaper, you see a statement credited to the outgoing president, Mohamed Bukhari, we borrowed for projects to create wealth. The nation has the rest to that story. And away from that, we also have um, Bukhari okays more redeployments in aviation agencies. 
President Mohamed Buhari has approved the reorganization of agencies under the Ministry of Aviation. The President approved the appointment of Kabir Mohamed as Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, FAN. And uh, Tayyib Odowo has also been appointed Substantive Managing Director of the Nigerian Airspace Management Agency, NAMA. It takes over from Matthew Pwajok, who reverts to its substantive position as Director of Operations. And meanwhile, Directors General of the Nigerian Safety Investigation Bureau, Aki Olatero, the Nigerian Meteorological Agency, NIMED, Professor Mansour Matazu, and Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, NCAA, Captain Musa Nuhu, are to run the remaining course of their tenors in line with the act setting up their agency. And Director of the Nigerian College of Aviation Technology, Zaria, Captain Alkali Modibo, was granted a one year extension, also in line with the act setting up the college. Buhari okays more redeployment in aviation agencies. The nation newspaper captures that very story. And uh, quickly taking a quick trip to um, a neighboring state. Right here you see Tidibu's government to inaugurate Lagos Ibadan Road, says Fashola. The incoming administration of Ashiwaj Bola Tinubu inaugurated Lagos Ibadan Expressway works announced Minister Babatsude Fashola has said. And Fashola, who dropped the ink during an extraordinary Federal Executive Council FEC meeting uh, yesterday, the opening of the opening uh, the, right there in the Nation newspaper. Okay, you get the details of that very story in the Nation newspaper, and uh, you see with the headline Tinubu government. Uh, inaugurate to inaugurate Lagos Ibado Express Road. Away from that, you get uh, also another story from the Nation newspaper. Can Adley cope desperately looking forward to hand over Buhari? Also revealing that President Mohamed Buhari has expressed his eagerness to hand over in the next few days. He hands over next Monday to the president elect Ashiwa Jibola Tinubu. And Buhari spoke at the close of the regimental dinner organized in his honor by the armed forces at the newly commissioned Nigerian Armed Forces Officers Mess, Asokoro Abuja. And the president was joined by Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, the Minister of Defense, Major General Salihi Megashi, uh, Megashi the Chief of Defense Staff, General Loki Rabo, and Service Chiefs. I can only cope, desperately looking forward to and over, says Buari. And the nation newspaper captures that uh, statement credited to the outgoing president, Muhammadu Buhari. Away from the nation newspaper, let's see uh, the front page of the Daily Trust newspaper. In the front page, you see ministers and over ahead of cabinet dissolution with several writers right there in the front page. And of course, the details of that on page four. In the Daily Trust newspaper, court consolidates Atiku Obi's petitions against Tinubu. You also get the details in the belly of the Daily Trust. Lake Chad oil well to yield 943 million barrels as Bukhari flags of exploration. Also from the front page, UK bars Nigerian students and others from traveling with families. You, uh, this, that is also surfacing on the front page of the Daily Trust to get some more details. And uh, mixed reaction through new Sokoto marital expenses law. Page th uh, three captures the story. And uh, also, Daily Trust Foundation trains journalists on budget tracking. You get the details of the right there on page five. Ten Borono local government areas not connected to national grid. Show of Borono revealing that. And page C aggresses the details of that very story. Second Niger Bridge commissioned, renamed after Bukhari. You also get the details of that on page 27 in the Daily Trust newspaper. And uh, quickly going through the Daily Trust uh, newspaper, you see ministers and over ahead of cabinet dissolution. Five days to the end of President Mohamed Bukhari's tenure, ministers have commenced handing over to permanent secretaries and their ministries ahead of a dissolution of the cabinet daily trust reports the eight-year tenure of president buhari which commenced on may 29 2015 comes to an end on monday may 29 2023 
Activities for the inauguration of the president-elect, Ashwaj Bola Tinubu, uh, commenced weeks to go. And the inauguration proper is slated to take place at Eagle Square, Abuja, by 10 a.m. on Monday. Ahead of the inauguration, the Minister of Defense, Bashir Migashi, is reported to have handed over to the permanent secretary. And the source said the minister would formally bow, uh, bow out today, Wednesday, although the dissolution of the federal cabinet is yet to be announced by President Buhari. It was learned that Magashi, a retired major general of the Nigerian army, has already directed the permanent secretary of the ministry, Mr. Ibrahim Kana, to take charge. Ministers and over ahead of cabinet dissolution, Daily Trust newspaper captures that very story. Also from the Daily Trust, you see the story with the headline, United Kingdom finally bars Nigerian students and others from traveling with family. The United Kingdom has barred foreign students studying for masters from traveling with their family members. The move which affects all overseas students, apart from those on postgraduate research programs, will take effect from January. The package announced ahead of figures on Thursday, which are expected to show net migration running at record levels, amounts to the single biggest tightening measure a government has ever done. It also removes the ability for international students to switch out of the student route into work before their studies have been completed. And old Secretary Suela Breverman unveiled the package of new restrictions on foreign students, including Nigerians, on Tuesday. United Kingdom finally bars Nigerian students and others from traveling with family. The rest of that in the Daily Trust newspaper. And uh, also from the Daily Trust, uh, we have a reaction to the refinery that was commissioned on Monday. Dangote's $18.5 billion refinery sparks fresh controversy in Ogun. Inauguration of a multi-billion dollar Dangote refinery has sparked fresh controversy in Ogun State. And Daily Trust reports the $18.5 billion monumental investment was to be sited in Ogun State before it was moved to its present location in neighboring Lagos State. And shortly after the inauguration of the project on Monday, some stakeholders in the state rude loss of the project to Lagos. A Shegun Shoumi, governorship aspirant of PDP in the 2023 election, blamed the loss on bad politics. He called on a law that punishes economic sabotage occasioned by bad politics. And Shoumi, in a statement he personally signed, said, and I quote, I cannot but wonder what explanation of the state has for not housing that project that sits pretty within our Ogun development master plan with a local free trade zone in Ogun Waterside. Dangote's $18.5 billion refinery sparks fresh controversy in Ogun State. Daily Trust newspaper captures that very story. And away from the Daily Trust, let's see. Uh, well, we have the front page of the Nigerian Tribune newspaper. In the front page, or on the front page, rather, of the Nigerian Tribune, you see Bukhari's statement, Why I closed borders and banned rice importation with several riders? But you get the details of that on page 6 and 11 in the Nigerian Tribune. Away from that, you see Sean Kutu released on bail, also that resurfacing in the front page on page 21, as the details of that story, presidential election petition courts merges APM Atiku Obi's petition, page 12, uh, captures the story. Nigerian students and others can no longer take family to UK from January. Uh, also, that is also been seen in the front page of Nigerian Tribune, but the details on page 3 in the Nigerian Tribune. On NAS presiding officers, Australian may accommodate North Central. You also get that on page 2 in the nigerian tribune away from that in the front page or on the front page you also see kogi ag versus agf supreme court cautions against continued harassment of kogi officials page 29 captures that with the writer that reviews a john's hearing to october 10. also from the front page prepare for pandemic worse than covid 19 the world health organization warns and page 13 captures the full warning from the WHO. Ekiti Airport to begin operation in October. You also get the details on page 18 in the Nigerian Tribune. I, how I want to be buried, Olubara of Ibarra, also revealing that uh, from page 13 in the Nigerian Tribune. 
14.3 uh, million Nigerians ages 15 and 64 engage in drug abuse. NDLEA reporting that very report from page 4 in the Nigerian Tribune. Quickly going through the pages uh, of the Nigerian Tribune uh, newspaper, you see... Okay, let's start with the inauguration of Buhari of the Niger, Second Niger Bridge. Buhari inaugurates 206.1 billion Naira, Second Niger Bridge. President Mohamed Buhari on Tuesday inaugurated a multi billion Naira, 1.6 kilometer, Second Niger Bridge. Speaking virtually at the occasion, held at the bridge held at by toll at the end of the bridge, Buhari said infrastructure development was deliberately a key uh, focal point. Of his administration to create wealth and make poverty alleviation easier and the president said he shared the concerns of nigerians about the debt profile of the country noting however that the debts were tied to projects that have been executed in very transparent circumstances a minister of labor dr chris ngigo who represented president buhari at occasion said by the completion of a 206.2 billion Nara project, which idea was conceived about 40 years ago by the Al Haji Shagari administration, people who had who had for decades been playing politics with it have now been put out of business. Buhari inaugurates 206.1 billion Nara Second Niger Bridge. Uh, the Nigerian Tribune captures the only uh captures that very headline also from the nigerian tribune only god can secure nigeria nigeria's borders buhari also revealing that president mohammed buhari has uh as has pointed out that the country has has vast borders and only god can secure the nation from the activities of criminals he said that his decision to close nigeria's borders at some point was in the interest of the economy and that the citizens would appreciate it later the president spoke on Tuesday at the commissioning of the new corporate headquarters of the Nigeria Customs Service, NCS, in Abuja. And Buhari restated his earlier position that he would be far away from Abuja at the end of his administration and noted that he was speaking his mind. Speaking his mind, you get the rest of that statement from the outgoing president's mind with the end headline, Only God can secure Nigeria's borders, says Buhari. And also from uh, the Nigerian Tribune newspaper, also you see this report revealing that 14.3 million Nigerians between 15 and 64 years engage in drug abuse. NDLEA boss Buba, Buba Mawa revealing that the chairman of the chief executive officer of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA Brigadier General, Mohamed Buba Marwa on Tuesday lamented that more than 14.3 million Nigerians aged between 15 and 64 years use uh, psychoactive substances other than alcohol and tobacco, thereby constituting grave danger for the future of youth in the country. He added that one out of four drug users is a woman, while one in five persons who use drugs in Nigeria is suffering from drug use disorders stressing that drug use is most common among the ages of 25 and 39 years. He spoke on Tuesday in Abuja at the occasion of the annual public lecture organized by the National Institute for Cultural Orientation with the theme, Culture, Drug Abuse and Future of Nigerian Youth. And he observed that the prevalence of drug abuse among the youth in the country was responsible for rising cases of prostitu uh, prostitution, kidnapping and robbery, terrorism, and banditry, noting that the drug users under influence commit all manner of criminality, including contracting HIV and AIDS, as well mental health diseases. To get a full report in the Nigerian Tribune newspaper from the NDLEA, revealing that 14.3 million Nigerians between 15 and 64 years engage in drug abuse. And uh, okay, uh, defending the death profile by Bukhari. Bukhari defends huge debt profile incurred by his administration. <coughs> President Mohamed Bukhari has defended the huge debt profile amassed by his administration, which is put at 77 trillion naira, saying that it was invested in infrastructure as a deliberate way to fight poverty, to create jobs, economic development, and prosperity, and governize. He said uh, making infrastructure development a key focus in his administration was not by accident. And speaking on Tuesday at the virtual inauguration of three bridges, 
three sectariats and one road project undertaken by his administration. He said, and I quote, we do not act on infrastructure by accident. It has been a deliberate choice for our government as a tool to fight poverty, to create economic growth and employment, and to open the path of prosperity for our people, end of quote. But Ari defends huge debt profile incurred by his administration, Nigerian Tribune, as the rest of that very story. We continue uh, fresh light right after this commercial break. Uh, stay with us on Ali Amoye TV and radio. <music> have been disappointed severely in their bid to see greener pasture abroad. To those who work in the traveling agency business, it is a rocket science. That is not our case at Tau South Travels and Tour. We have in-depth details on how to successfully, without stress, help you process and secure your visa to anywhere in the world. Do you want permanent residential visa, visiting and tourism visa, student visa to places like Europe, America, Asia, Africa, at Tau South Travels and Tour. Our expertise speaks volume for us. Let's process and secure visa for you. UK, USA, and Canada within a twinkle of an eye. We offer Aj and Umura services to our Muslim faithfuls. What are you waiting for? At number nine, Tau South Central Mall, Sholanke Street, behind Laroy Hotel, Abiola Way, Abel Pita. 0802 0900 or 0806 578 4060. Stop wasting money. Pay for peace of mind. Talk to Taos of Travels and Thousands have been disappointed severally. In Thank you so much. Uh, you're still on to Fresh Light on Aliamuye TV and radio and still going through different headlines and stories in our different newspapers. And also we have the Vanguard newspaper with me right here. Let's see the stories and headlines we have on the front page of the Vanguard newspaper this morning, uh, Wednesday 24th day in the month of May 2023. After May 29, Nigeria Republic will defend me if... Uh, you get that statement credited to Bukhari on the front page and page 5 captures the rest of the story. Biden announces nine-man delegation for Tinubu's inauguration. You also get the details of that on page 9 in the Vanguard newspaper. Supreme Court cautions against harassment of Kogi officials. Page 10 captures the story. Import bill on manufactured goods falls 18.4% to 2.45 trillion naira. Page 19 captures that very business story. On the 10th national leadership, out in a book went to Paris Palais May, May after permutations. Uh, page 8 also captured the story. We found oil where others ran away. NMPC are revealing that. And page 8 graces that story. Away from that, we also have uh, the story and statement credited to... Uh, so we'll, we will be prudent with 115 billion naira bond. Uh, page 18 captures the story. Assault on police. Sean Kuti released on bail. That's also resurfacing in the front page. And page 7 has the details of that story. Presidential poll. Court merges Atiku OB APM's petitions for hearing May 30. Page 27 as that story. And uh, also from the front page, we have Owando Lamata to build local capacity with electricity, ele electric mass transit buses. You get that story from uh, page 9 in the Vanguard newspaper. And uh, quickly going through a couple of stories from the Vanguard newspaper. Uh, you see this uh, from a neighbor, the neighboring states, uh, the state of excellence from the vanguard we will be prudent with 115 billion naira bond says sonwolu governor babajide sonwolu of lagos state yesterday assured residents of his administration's commitment in ensuring financial prudence and responsibility for continuing the structural development of the state and sonwolu gave the assurance during the signing of the 115 billion 10-year 15.25 percent series one bond issuance due 
2033 and 19.815 million naira seven year 14.675 percent fixed return forward ijara lease to cook due 2030 under the one trillion naira debt and ivory issuance held at lagos house alausa ikeja and so Olu said proceeds from the issuance would be utilized to finance priority projects aimed at improving the state's infrastructure and fostering economic growth in line with the state's themes agenda. We will be prudent with 115 billion naira bonds, says Sonwolu, the Vanga newspaper, as that story. Away from that, we also have on the 10th National Assembly leadership, Tinubu Kwakwanso Paris Pale may alter permutations. Ahead of the June 13 inauguration of the 10th National Assembly, there are indications that last week's Paris France meeting of the president elect, Ashiwaji Balatinibu, and the presidential candidate of the new Nigeria's People's Party and MPP Senator Ravi Kwakwanso may alter the zoning formula for presiding officers. The zoning of pre presiding officers for the 10th National Assembly by the All Progressives Congress, APC, has generated it within the party. The APC had zoned the Senate presidency to the South South and the speakership of the House of Representatives to the Northwest. The party also zoned the Deputy Senate Presidency to the Northwest and Deputy Speakership to the Northeast. The Vanguard uh, was reliably informed that following ag agitations against the Northwest producing two presiding offices, Kwakwanso urged Tinubu to revisit the zoning arrangement. The rest of that from the Vanguard on 10th National Assembly leadership, Tinubu Kwakwanso Paris Pale may alter permutations. Away from that, we also have uh, from... Uh, the Vanguard newspaper on the presidential poll court merges Atiku OB APM's petition for hearing May 30. And the story revealing that despite objections by the president elect Ashwaji Balatinibu and the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, the presidential election petition court, PEPC, sitting in Abuja yesterday, consolidated the three different petitions seeking to nullify the outcome of the 2023 election. And uh, the court in its pre-hearing report said it was empowered by paragraph 50 of the first schedule to the Electoral Act 2022 to merge the petition since they all, re they all related to the same election. The Justice Aruno Samani led five-member panel said it was satisfied that consolidating and determining the three petitions together would assist it in speedily resolving all the legal issues trailing the presidential election that was held on February 25. And consequen uh, consequently, it's late in May 30 for all the petitioners to open their case, beginning with the candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi. On the presidential poll, court merges Atiku Obi and APM's petition for hearing May 30. Away from that, we also have um, uh, from the Vanga newspaper. After May 29, Niger Republic will defend me if, says Buhari. President Mohamed Buhari said yesterday the people of Niger Republic would defend him if anyone moved against him after leaving office. He also said he deliberately showed the nation's land borders to force Nigerians to patronize uh, goods made in the country. The president's declaration, however, drew the ear of the Pan Yoruba Social Political Organization, a Fenifer and Middle Belt Forum, NBF. We described his stance as non-committal to Nigeria and that Nigerians would not miss him when he exits office. The Buhari who spoke ex uh, extempore at the commissioning of the new corporate headquarters of Nigeria Customs Service in Abuja said he was speaking his mind, reiterating his earlier decision to be far away from Abuja at the end of his administration. After May 29, Nigeria Republic will defend me if you get the rest of that in the Vanga newspaper and also from the Vanga newspaper on the assault Sean Kuti released after seven days in police detention uh, with uh, double riders here lawyers and activists kick against his maltreatment court hearing resumes today Afrobeat singer Sean Kuti was yesterday released on bail from police custody seven days after the reported he reported himself at the state criminal investigation department uh, Yaba Lagos over the assault allegation against him and before his release last night his lawyers Mr. Adeyinka Olumide Fushika and Mr. Kunle Adegoke had hinted that it would be released yesterday having met all the conditions for his bill 
and some of Kuti's friends and supporters were seen jubilating outside the police station immediately after it was released. From the vanguard on assault, Sheo Kuti released after seven days in police detention. The Vanga news paper captures that story. Away from the Vanga, let's quickly uh, peruse the pages uh, of the Punch newspaper before uh, we round it up. On the front page of the Punch newspaper on Tenubu's inauguration, you see security agencies raid hotspots, Biden names United States delegation. And also from the front page on Tribuna, Atiku Obitaku Tenubu's hearing begins Tuesday. And also from the front page, Bukhari, yes, infrastructure deficit remains wide. You also get that details in the uh, Punch newspaper. CBN revokes 179 microfinance banks and orders licenses. You also get the details of that in the Punch newspaper. Panic in Oshun has 35 pupils hospitalized after inhaling tear gas. You get the details of that rather unfortunate story in uh, the metro page of the punch newspaper i'm also to blame dangote relocated refinery to lagos says abiodun you also get it, that story from the punch newspaper and uh, from the punch newspaper let's start uh, with this story on tinubu's inauguration uh, security agencies red hot sports by the names u.s delegation the United States President Joe Biden has announced a delegation that will attend the swearing-in of the former Lagos State Governor Bolatinubu as the 16th President of Nigeria at the Eagle Square, Abuja, on Monday. The White House, in a late Monday statement, disclosed that a nine-member U.S. delegation would be led by the Secretary of the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, Marcia Ford. And the announcement came as the federal government tightened security across the federal capital territory ahead of the inauguration ceremony and top security sources told the correspondents of the punch that security agencies have started raiding hideouts of criminals and thugs who could be used to foment trouble on the inauguration day on Tenobu's inauguration security agencies raid out sports by the names united states delegation from the punch newspaper and uh, also from the punch, we have a most to blame. Dangote relocated refinery to Lagos, says Abiodun. The state governor, Dakwa Abiodun, on Tuesday absolved himself of blame in the situation that led to the relocation of the $19 billion Dangote refinery from Ogo State to Lagos State. Abiodun, who confirmed that he was chairman of a local free trade zone in Ogun Waterside, local government area of the state, during the administration of former Governor Bikuli Amoso, said it was not part of the moves that frustrated Dangote out of the state. And the governor, in a statement issued by his chief press secretary, Kulesho Mori, on Tuesday, said he should not be blamed for the loss. Amoso to blame Dangote relocated refinery to Lagos, says Abiodo from. Uh, the pages of the punch newspaper and uh, quickly taking the story from uh, the punch from the metro page poly lecturer jailed five years for diverting study grant a former academic staff member of waziri umaru federal polytechnic kebi state mohammed sunny nuhu has been sentenced to five years imprisonment for deviously allotting over six million naira belonging to the polytechnic to himself and this was after the Independence Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission had secured his conviction. According to a statement by the commission, uh, spokesperson Azuka Ogugwa on Tuesday, in a four counts brought before Honorable Justice Azan Osman of the Kebi State High Court, bringing Kebi Judicial Division, the commission stated that Nuhu conferred a corrupt advantage on himself when he converted into personal use the sums of 2 million naira in 2015 and 4 million 173,400 naira in 2016. Poly lecturer jailed five years for diverting study grant. The punch in his paper captures from the Metro page and rounding it up with a sports story from the punch in his paper right here saying, We are not scared of Italy, boasts flying eagles. The Flying Eagles will fancy their chances against Italy on Wednesday. That's today in Group D of the outgoing, uh, ongoing, I beg your pardon, on the 20 World Cup in Argentina. And both sides battle at the Estadio Malvinas, Argentina from 3 p.m. local time, 7 p.m. Nigerian time. 
The Nigerians managed a 2-1 win over debutant Dominican Republic in their opening game, but to know that they have a mountain to climb when they bat to their European foes today. The Italians were on rampage in a uh, rapturous first half that saw Brazil eventually crumble to a 3-2 loss in Mendoza on Sunday, and since then, the name of the leaves of many at the ongoing Under-20 World Cup in Argentina has been Italy. We are not scared of Italy, boasts flying eagles. The Punch newspaper captures from the sports pages, and there we draw the curtain on Fresh Line this morning on Aliamoye TV and Radio. Thank you so much. Don't forget to follow us on all the social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Aliamoye TV and Radio. Like, subscribe, comment, and share the videos. And, uh, of course, we appreciate it. Thank you so much uh, for joining us right here on Fresh Light on Aliamoye TV and Radio. I remain Mudukwe Akinyo Soye. Good morning.